Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tegan and this is that surprise that I mentioned in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, it's my November wrap up. Click up there if you want to check it out. But my surprise was a surprise to me as well. My partner, Sean, he has found this advent calendar, which is this one right here called the short story advent calendar which is 25 short stories written by various authors this company Hingston and Olsen are the ones that create these short story advent calendars and yeah it's it's like I said it's, it's 25 25 stories over the next 25 days and also at the end of each day they set out an exclusive interview of the authors of each stories uh, and he said oh you know you can make videos for it so for the next 25 days I will be making a short video, I'm not sure how long they'll be, but I'll, I'll read the book, read, read my advent story for the day. And you know, this is something that you could, if you want to follow along, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It comes in this really funky box. Let me adjust the brightness so maybe you can get a bit more of a, yeah. It's like this blue and yellow design on the box. It's 2020 and I just, it's, it's all very uh, geometric. And then inside you have the stories oh number one did not want to come out very simplistic designs is literally just like the numbers on each of the books yeah uh, each of the books is also sealed so you can't actually open them like accidentally so yeah for the next 25 days i'm going to be reading uh 25 short stories as well as doing my december tbr which will be coming out i thought i'd get out today probably going to be tomorrow but i'm going to start with book number one and we'll go from there. Having a little look into this uh, short story advent calendar, they've been doing it for the past five years. And I just, I really love the idea. So I'm going to hopefully not damage the book by peeling this off. So my first short story is Over the Plum Pudding by John Kendrick Bangs. I will check in with you after the story. So I've just finished this book, a short story. I just I just finished this short story, uh, Over the Plum Pudding by John Kendrick, and it's I'm I'm a little bit confused. Um, it starts off with saying why it was never published, an authoritative statement by its editor, and it was basically saying how this Over the Plum Pudding was to be a mixture of short stories or mix a collection, and it had just. The book is just filled with the little tidbits of each of these uh, stories, one of them being uh, written by Dr. Doyle with Sherlock Holmes. The author, uh, well, the, the publisher, I guess? John Kendrick Bangs is an American writer, magazine editor, and humorist. Over the Plum Pudding first appeared in the story collection in the same name in 1901. So it's, you can tell when you're reading it that it's from a, a different time. and. and yeah, that was strange. That was an odd story. Whether they're all like this, I'm not sure, but that was, that was days one. Basically, it's... I don't know if it's Horace Wilkinson. It's kind of him... So I think... Right. Just trying to get the facts down. I think Horace Wilkinson is the one who wrote this short story, and John Kendrick Bangs is the one who published it. And it's just a mixture of short stories or were to be a mixture of short stories from various authors of the time the, the writers being mr hall kane dr doyle mr kipling richard harding davis andrew lang george meredith and himself and those are apparently supposed to be a couple others and he just kind of mentions little tidbits from the each author's story and the the little bit that they wrote for it and it never came to fruition obviously this book yeah it was supposed to be like a happy lot of short stories and it just it explains why it was never published or, or never fully published so that's a very odd odd first book um that is number one number one has now been read and 
I guess this is my video on it. Check in tomorrow for what number two's like. And if you're interested, I'm gonna probably use a uh, hashtag SSCA2020 on my Twitter to talk about it. And, and you know, let me know. Let me know what you, if if any of you so happen to have this book advent calendar let me know it'd be great to find other people who are reading it there are the author videos do people want to see me react to that if you could also let me know that'd be great but with that being said that's the end of the video i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you tomorrow bye guys